X Bar Training. Back and calves with David Kimberly. Deadlifts, bent legs. Let's get going. You're gonna want to start off a little bit wider leg here. This is really gonna ensure that you have plenty of resistance. And up. And up. And up. I don't feel like I have enough weight here, so I'm gonna really choke up on it. There we go. Now when I come all the way top, I'm really kicking my hips forward, feeling a great stretch right here in my hip flexors. Ooh, all right. Part of what I have to do to make sure I stay accountable and kicking my hips forward is I flex my butt at the top. And it's an ugly flex. It's a flex that you only do when nobody's behind you. Because you're really squeezing those two cheeks together. Eleven seconds left, come on. Steady, even movement. Take a rest. All right. Fifteen seconds, shake it out. Next we're gonna get into bent over rows. This is very similar where you really wanna choke up on this band here. Super great wide grip, and we go. you notice I have the bent part going to my belly so I can get it all the way up. My back is in a very straight position. I'm not hunched over. I am not doing this. Okay. In this position, I want to arch. Make your legs. Pull. Pull. The idea is to get your elbows as far back behind your back as you can. The picture like almost sticking a broomstick in between your elbows. You've got to have some space. You want to be able to see through them. Ooh, yeah. As soon as you really pull your scapula back, roll your shoulders back. You don't really feel that. Come on. Almost there. 13. Keep it going. Great move. Should be feeling a little bit of burn in your lower butt, too. Three, two, hold it. One. All right. Great. Set it down. Hopefully you got warmed up before this. Now we're going to get into the two-leg cab raises. The variation to this, friends, is to go ahead and go one leg for today. And right now we're doing two. Instead of the wide side of the, the X-bar on top of these supports and press up. Now right now I'm using something with a decent base on it. It could be a chair. It could be a couch. Anywhere in your living room. Anywhere in the world. Just want to make sure... Of the variations, go ahead and move it over and try to keep your balance. But getting back to what I was saying, as I'm concentrating on this pain in my calves here, you want whatever you're going to use to support these calf raises right there next to you. You don't want to take a long break, then you're not sticking with the 615. I'm not taking a break, you don't get a break. Take it over here to the side, Ooh. all the way up, all the way there, all the way up, all the way there, all the way up. All Oh, it's really about that peak contraction to the top. You can get through this. You can get through this without trying at all. But if you really flex the muscles, the top and bottom, take that stretch. And we've got a well for you. Take your rest. 15 seconds. And guess what? We're going to do the exact same thing again. Great stretch. Step on it and lean forward. Step on it and lean forward. All right. We're going to start off with the wide legs in the center. And go. Now I'm going to switch over here and do one leg at a time. Take my one leg behind. Switch back over to the other side. Come on. Oh. Personally, I like fighting it a little bit. I like fighting for that balance. Firing off the different muscle groups in the calves for stability. Blow out at the top. Really contract those calves. Contract means flex. When you come up, I want you to make it hurt, for lack of better words. I want it to be somewhat uncomfortable. Calves get a lot of action during the day. They walk, they take you up and down stairs. I mean, really it's a muscle group that gets used by default anyway. So if you want it to grow, you want to see any sort of change, you're gonna have to do something that's never been done before. And that means they're gonna feel a certain way they've never felt before. Take your rest. 
All right, back into legs. We're gonna get a seated row. Okay, excuse me, back into, back into back. Seated row overhand. All right. Now I'm gonna go super wide on this again, just because I know it's better. Put this around, hands are over, and pull. Ooh, choked up on that pretty good. Two. Now I'm not leaning back, and I'm not leaning forward, so my back is like this. I've got a nice, uh, straight back, straight as I can get it. And once again, really reaching back with my elbows. Really trying to get them as far back as possible. Another trick is, if you really pull the weight bar back down to your belly button, it'll engage your lower back. Really gonna help you gauge the muscle groups intended. 10, nine, eight, come on, keep going. Seven, I'm going at a pace here, guys. If you wanna go faster, you do so. One, take your rest, all right. Now we're gonna go seated row, underhand. Come on through. You wanna, do you wanna train? Yeah, come on. Guys, we shoot videos, we don't pause, we don't stop, we don't cut. We're fortunate enough to have these nice people allow us to work out in front of them. And you know what? Just like you in your busy day, you keep on training. All right, this is underhand. Come on. She's giving me a nice smile. She's gonna wait. I don't want her to wait for her workout, just like I don't want to wait for mine, and I don't want you waiting for yours. Come on. Ooh. You should be feeling quite a bit of stress right down the center. We'll explain it right next to your spine on both sides. And decent amount of pressure and resistance and uncomfortableness in your rear deltoid. That's the other side of your shoulder. Now I can leave them forward like this and pull back all day long. It's not what we're doing. You want to chest up, arch in the back. Oh. And if you want to get advanced, pull down here by your belly button. It gets it a lot harder. I can pull back here all day. That's more biceps. It's like a almost uh, a curl. Come on. Get it back. We want to use back. Think about your elbows pulling back. Elbows pulling back. Take a rest. All right, great job, guys. And we get to do it all over again. And seven seconds to do it. Bent over rows. Come on, guys. Get really, really wide. You're gonna notice I'm right here next to these numbers. My legs are bent. I'm thinking I got a great straight back. I'm gonna pull this to where it goes all the way up and I'm pulling. Ooh, I choked up a little high, couldn't get it all the way up. That happens. Just loosen up a little bit and keep going. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Three straight back exercises. Back's a big muscle group, guys. If you're wondering why I paired it with calves, there's only two sets of calves. It's because, ooh, ooh. It's a great big muscle group. Lots back there. It takes a little bit more than the smaller muscle groups to simplify it, to wear it out. Really make it exert enough to want to grow and prevent whatever pain was previous from happening again. It's how your body thinks, get smarter. If you try to lift something you've never lifted before, your body's gonna remember that. And it's kind of cool how it helps you want to lift it the next time. That's how you get stronger. Right, come on, pull, pull, pull. All right, rest. Now we're getting into deadlifts, bent leg. Come on, up, up. Oh, hope you're breathing hard like me, guys. Come on, up, 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 up. up. Come on. I'm really squeezing my butt together as I come up every time. My arms are locked. My grip is tight. Got a solid X bar to train with. Make sure I bend my legs. Feel it in my glutes, my hammies, and my lower back. And you're almost there. Two, one. All right, set it down. Great job. Now we're getting back into calves. Two legged. Now once again, find something a little more stable than this. This is what I had at the gym today, and, and once again, my personality says I want to fight for every single rep. 
be safe, be smart, have something you can lean on, and fire off those cats. Take that stretch. Take that stretch, come on. Another way to really make sure that your calves are engaged and that you're getting the most you can out of every rise and fall during this set, I want you to straighten your legs. So much so that you lock them in. We talk about bent leg and straight leg. And I'm a big stickler on what the difference is between straight and, and bent. Straight means it couldn't be any more straight. And bent, well, that's subjective. So my leg is locked. I'm flexing right here, making sure that when I go up and down, it's all calves. You should feel a little bit better pinch, a little bit better work as you're seeing that. Move it over here and make it a little bit harder on the one leg. Move it over here and make it a little harder on the other leg. Come on, keep pushing, guys. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. All right, take a break. Another set of calves. Once again, personally, I like to take my break. Step forward on it, but you really just keep that leg locked in straight. Take another stretch. Oh, take that bent. And let's get going. I'm gonna go for the double leg again. See, I just did three reps, guys, and my legs weren't straight. It's a constant reminder. Affirmations. Whatever you want to say. I want calves, I want calves, I want calves. If I want calves means I'm gonna think about straightening my legs every time I say it. That's a positive affirmation. You do that. If your calves are burning right now and you want to stop, I want calves, I want calves, I want calves. Who wants calves? I want calves. And pretty soon you've done four reps getting through that uncomfortableness, the pain threshold, the wanting to stop. I use the camera. I use you guys as motivation. If I was alone by myself right now, would I stop? Maybe. I'd like to think I wouldn't. But you're not going to because you know what? You saw me not. Hopefully it inspires and motivates you to push on through. Take your rest, all right. Now we're gonna finish up with some seated work here. Guys, as you see me when I'm talking about the, the bent over back, this is what I'm talking about. When I'm seated, I'm, I've really got as much of an arch as I can in my back. We gotta get going. Hands over. You watch me choke up on this thing. Now right here, I'm in the wrong position, so I've gotta, gotta pull back and start. Ooh, ooh, perfect weight. Now, if you really don't feel like this fluid moment is enough for you, let's speed it up. If you look down and your heart rate isn't quite high enough, then either A, you didn't pick the right band. It's awesome now. You have multiple bands, you add another one. Work out with two or just raise the one. Or you can just up your speed. Charlie trying to fire off, keep my back straight, keep this bar hitting right below my belly button. Ah, keep going, guys. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. One, zero. All right. Now, this is going to be hands under. Pull over, stretch, do a twist. Oh, be safe with it. Kind of in an arched position without that resistance going back. Now, I want your hands under. Right here, I'm going wide grip. And I want you to straighten that back. I want you to lean back and pull. Pull. Now, I'll be honest. I noticed that I let off some resistance, so I'm gonna add more. <laughs> Harder, see? If you take that, that rest and you notice the next time you go to do some reps, the resistance isn't what it should be, you call yourself out, because this is your 50 This is it, this is what you get. And it's a beautiful thing if you push hard. You can change your life, your body, your health, all willing yourself to push through 15 minutes a day. Come on. Right now we're willing ourselves to use fat, fuel to build muscle. Thin the skin. That's two times the size of muscle, guys. When you lose it, it's awesome. Oh, all right. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Oh. Forgot my towel today. Got sweat in my eyes. I hope you do too. Right now, 
We are recovering and finishing and contemplating if we tried. Came downstairs, you walked down the stairs, you hit the button. You turned on your iPhone, your iPad, wherever you were, you hit play. Somehow there was a process that led up to that. Goal oriented, goal -oriented I'm sure. But I, I guess I'm, I'm trying to, I'm a little out of breath myself. I'm, I'm trying to get to, you willed yourself to interact with me today. You got wherever you are in front of me and we picked up an X bar and we pushed ourselves. Are you proud of yourself right now? Did you try? Efforts between you and you. Can we sweat on the shirt? You know, I like to use all these sense of accountability. I want you to ask yourself as, as you put away the bar and you, you go about your day or you finished up your day and you're going to bed, did you try? Part of what I do isn't only just train with me and listen, lifting certain muscle groups and making sure that we, we train accordingly and safe and inspired, but it's, it's accountability and it's motivation. I'm sitting here trying to motivate you, trying to empower you, trying to give you a sense of accountability because nobody after right now is gonna go look in the mirror and be happy with the immediate uh, transformation because there isn't one. It doesn't happen overnight. How do you get happy? You have that accountability that I know I tried and you add up enough, you add up enough, I know I tried. That's what equals a transformation. Believe in yourself, believe in me, keep training with the X-Bar. Today was back and calves and you will reach your goals. This is David Kimberly signing off. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.